Tyrannosaurus rex has been one of the public's favorite dinosaurs for over a hundred years, and in that time it's racked up a pretty impressive reputation. With the name literally translating to Tyrant Lizard King, it's no wonder why we all call him the king of the dinosaurs, but over the last few decades, the animal's stature has been called into question and kind of demoted in lots of different forms of media. Even the Jurassic Park movie, starting with part three, have kind of begun to defang the king and make him a pushover in comparison to other dinosaurs that some people believe to be bigger and better. Well, a new scientific discussion has T-Rex placed at the forefront of how big and bad it could have been, and in my opinion, it's extremely cool. What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I want to talk about some news from prehistoric times. There's some information that suggests that the T-Rex might be like 70% bigger than we ever thought it was, which is really really interesting to me. Reading directly from the book, T-Rex could have been 70% bigger than fossils suggest new study shows. Paleontologists estimate that the largest T-Rex may have weighed 33,000 pounds. This comes from paleontologists from the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa, Ontario, and they estimate that the largest T-Rex could have gotten that big. They presented their findings on November 5th at the Society of Vertebrae Paleontology's annual conference in Toronto. Currently, we know that Scotty is the T-Rex T-Rex that we assume to be the biggest on record. We think it weighed around 19,555 pounds when it was alive, and that's around 6.5 Volkswagen Beetles. Uh, that's what Prehistoric Times says. Now, according to this new research, also directly from the magazine, the largest Tyrannosaurus would have been about 70% bigger than Scotty. This comes from Jordan Milan, the co-author of the research scientist team and head of paleobiology at the Canadian Museum of Nature. That almost doubles the size of T-Rex. T-Rex, is what he says. To reach this weighty conclusion, the scientists first examined the fossil record, which shows that approximately 2.5 billion T-Rexes once lived on Earth. However, we've only found a small fraction of just 32 adult fossils, which means the scientists have had a limited amount of information to pull from. And just as a Jurassic Park fan, I want to say right here, this is one of the reasons I've never really been the biggest fan of a, you know, size charts and stuff for some of the creatures in the franchise. We do see T-Rexes that are like 40 feet long or 39 feet long or 15 or 16 feet high depending on which scene they're in or what exactly is going on in relation to the movie but I don't really think that we could ever put a true cap on it because like I said we haven't really found many of these animals at all so who's to say how big they really got or even what their lives were genuinely like while living and it's something I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time and that's the idea of paleontology not being an exact science and as someone who loves Jurassic Park movies the books Dinosaurs in general, I mean, not everybody has a copy of this magazine, so I gotta be into it a little more than you'd think. There's just people that act like, they, they act less like they care about dinosaur science and more like social justice activists when it comes to bullying people or attacking others who don't know everything about dinosaurs and like how they lived or how they're represented in film. Personally, I couldn't care less, and you'll find out that a lot of people in the general public actually do like dinosaurs and dinosaur science that are, you know, big time celebrities, George St. Pierre, Newt Gingrich. With that being said, I do think it would be extremely cool if they introduced a bigger T-Rex this way, because I actually asked a paleontologist buddy of mine, Gary Vecchiarelli, who he specializes in the Triassic, but I asked him, hey man, what do you think about this new research? Do you actually think Tyrannosaurus Rex could have been 70% bigger? And he said it's possible. I mean, we really don't know a lot about these animals, or at least as much as people think we know about them. So this new information, it's not exactly a wild, crazy theory. And it's something that I think people should take at least a little bit seriously because it's extremely fun to think about. Going back to the Prehistoric Times article, Milan and co-author David Hone, a senior lecturer and deputy director of education at Queen Mary University of London, also looked at population numbers and average lifespans to create a model of the largest possible T-Rex. They also considered variations in body size based on sexual dimorphism. We wound up building two models, one exhibiting zero dimorphisms and one with strong dimorphism, Milan said. If T-Rex was dimorphic, we estimate that it would have weighed up to 53,000 pounds, but we rejected that model because if it were true, we would have found even larger individuals by now. Using this data, the scientists were able to model T-Rex's growth curve throughout its lifetime and estimate how big an adult might have grown. Milan cautioned that until a T-Rex is found that is comparable in size 
to the one in the model, the model's conclusions are purely speculative. This is simply a thought experiment with some numbers behind it. It's something that's fun to think about. And indeed, the investigation highlights how challenging it is for paleontologists to draw conclusions about dinosaur species from very limited fossil record. That's, you know, what I said earlier. Thomas Carr goes on to say that we don't really know much about dinosaurs at all since the sample sizes are so small. This is from a vertebrate paleontologist from Cartage College in Kenosha, Wisconsin, who wasn't involved in the news research. Right now, we are nowhere near the sample size needed, especially when compared to other species of animals. But Carr, who did attend the SVP conference, added that it's plausible T-Rex may have been much bigger than any individual scientists have found so far. It's truly a stupendous animal. To imagine a T-Rex of that magnitude is extraordinary, and I think an animal of that size is within reach, statistically. So again, guys, I want to reiterate here, this is all science that we don't really have an objective conclusion on. It's paleontology. We have never seen a living dinosaur before in our lifetimes, but it is something that the research that's being done in the rock is really fun to think about. Now, I want to also talk about one thing in general. Over the last 20 or 30 years, Giganotosaurus, Spinosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, there's been loads of dinosaurs that they've tried to one-up the T-Rex, and this is probably my biggest problem with paleontology in terms of headlines. Dude, it's so frustrating because... Well, I'm not a paleontologist, and I'm never going to claim to know everything about anything like that. I can tell when someone's trying to rip me off and sell me information that's just, you know, clickbait or a headline like that. Clearly, the only reason the Giga, the Spino, anything like that is going to be put at the forefront of like, oh, it's bigger and badder than the T-Rex is because it's marketable. It's cool to say something that is new and, you know, fresh is going to be better than what came before it. But that's not honestly always true, and it doesn't take a a rocket scientist to look at the Tyrannosaurus Rex's jaws and the actual bite force of that animal to know it's extremely formidable. And if this research is even half true, let's not even say it's completely true. Let's say that the T-Rex could only be 35% bigger than what we previously thought. That's still a massive animal and something that would devastate anything in its ecosystem relative to like, <laughs> it's just, it would be a tank. It would bulldoze over everything. Even being conservative with that estimation, it blows everything out of the water. So this is really cool for me. As a giant T-Rex fan, someone that loves dinosaurs and has been a big fan of this creature my entire life, I would love to see a 70% bigger Tyrannosaurus Rex in a Jurassic Park movie. I'd love to see them actually discover something that big one day, but that would require the speculation to be, you know, closer to reality than, I guess, what we currently have in the fossil record. Keep in mind, guys, everything is speculative. Paleontology is not an exact science to, like, the finest degree agree because we, it can't be. We don't have all the evidence available. Which again, it's one of the reasons I've always been upset that people always try to attack others that don't know much about dinosaurs because even the most revered paleontologist doesn't know everything that's going on because you can't study a real one in real life. But this news is fascinating to me and it's something that I, <laughs> it made me smile man. I get Prehistoric Times Magazine and when I was flipping through it, I, I know that other people have already done videos on this stuff and I was like what? 70% bigger? Does anybody know how big that is like that's giant uh but yeah those are my final thoughts on the information and what it could mean for the jurassic park franchise and paleontology in general this is the king of the dinosaurs you can't get around it but those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter what do you think about this research and by the way guys completely not sponsored but you should really read prehistoric times this is a really cool magazine that goes over a lot of cool paleontological news that i don't really uh, see people talking about too much and uh, i'll talk about it i think it's great I think you should read it. So yeah, without further ado, I'd love to hear what all of your thoughts and opinions are on a Tyrannosaurus Rex being found that big one day in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens and engine executives, as well as all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. You've all helped my channel immensely and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that support. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you all consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.